This is a GrowWatt 3000 watt off-grid inverter, which means it's not connected to the grid, and it does not sell power back to the grid. And I certainly don't want to run extension cords all over the house to power things. What I'd like to be able to do is just tie into my home breaker panel. It already has all the circuits in it that I want to get to, but I need to do it in a way that's safe and legal and that won't back feed into the grid, which is illegal and dangerous for the linemen who have to work during power outages. This is the secret right here. This is the Reliance Pro Tran 2. It's a, a manual transfer switch made to be used with generators, but it works for perfectly fine with uh, solar powered inverters. This is the power coming from the inverter going inside, and I'll show you in a minute how this is all wired on the inside. Um, then after it goes through the breakers and switches, it will go through this conduit, a bunch of cables that come with it, and feed into your breaker panel. And I'll show you how all that is wired in a minute. But first, we'll talk about how it works. This particular unit has six circuits inside, A, B, C, D, E, and F. They also make a larger one that has 10 circuits. Now, each circuit has both a rocker switch that selects your power source, as well as a breaker down at the bottom underneath of each A, B, C, and D. There's six breakers that go across. Now these six circuits, A, B, C, D, E, and F, are connected to up to six circuits from inside of your breaker panel. And you can see those labeled in yellow tape, A, B, C, etc. So circuit A out of our transfer switch is connected to a circuit that we call A out of our existing breaker box. Now each of these rocker switches is a three position switch that lets you pick between solar, or called generator here, but we use it for solar, uh, a middle off position, and then if you switch it down you're on the grid or line. This light bulb represents an existing circuit in your breaker panel. It could be a refrigerator, it could be outlets in your living room, etc. Okay, now let's take a quick look at these six circuit breakers. The circuit breakers in the transfer switch are only used when you're on solar or generator mode. And when you switch over to the grid, you're using the existing old circuit breakers that are in your breaker panel. Notice that you can only be connected to solar or the grid. They're not interconnected, which means it's impossible for this to backfeed when you're running your solar energy. You cannot backfeed accidentally to the grid. Okay, so let's look at the different uh, models and prices that are out there. Um, this is all coming off of Amazon, and it's March of uh, 2022 right now, so that could, of course, change. Okay, this is the same model that I had. This is the 306C, which is a six-circuit 30-amp uh, version of this. Um, notice it's uh, about $295, under $300 right now, and it is prime, so you can get it shipped to you quickly. There's also a 10-circuit version, and that looks like it's going for $450 currently. Um, both of these are Amazon Prime, and they're going to ship out right away. Um, and they're shipping actually from Reliance itself. They're the, the dealer on Amazon. And as always, I'll have uh, links down in the description below. Now, be uh, careful that you don't end up with one of these older models that don't have the, uh, the modern uh, circuit breakers on it, but rather the push-button breakers. Okay, and these drawings are right out of the ProTran manual. Um, you'll notice that you have the ProTran on the left. On the right is your breaker box or your load center. And right here, this is a flexible conduit whip that already has all the cabling built into it that you need between the, uh, the two devices. And this drawing shows the power in from the solar inverter. And we're going to start with the neutral cable, 
which is this one. Uh, it's actually a white cable, but they draw it in black because it would be invisible against the white background. But anyway, that's our white or our neutral. And notice it just goes to a wire nut. It passes through that whip over to the um, breaker panel where it's connected to the neutral in the breaker panel. And this green wire, of course, is the ground, comes in from the solar inverter. It connects to this grounding lug right in the transfer box, grounding the box itself. And then it passes through from there, through the whip, to uh, the grounding lug or the grounding bus on your breaker panel. I'm going to take the cover off of the transfer switch and the breaker box so we can see the wiring. Okay, first these black wires go up to these clamps. They're not part of the ProTran. They are part of an energy meter that I use to um, measure what's going on in the solar system. Uh, but anyway, so they're kind of in the way, and I apologize for that. But let's start with our white cable, our neutral. Okay, so here's our white coming in, our neutral coming in from the solar inverter. Let's move this over so you can see a little bit. Here we go. Okay, to the wire nut. Comes out of the wire nut and goes into this whip down here and goes over to the breaker panel and your ground comes in goes to this grounding lug and then it also jumps into the down below to the uh, whip and goes over to your breaker panel now let's jump over to the breaker panel yeah, and it's a mess in here but this small white cable right here is our neutral and then this small green cable the dark small green cable in the back here it's running along that is the ground that's coming in and it goes all the way up here to our ground bar which you can see and it's attached there the white cable comes up and goes to the neutral bar and is attached very simple all right now let's go back and look at the hot lines that come in from your solar inverter you have a line one which they show as black and a line two which they show as red and you may also call this phase one and phase two of a split phase inverter and they simply connect the two wire nuts that then feed the breakers in the transfer switch a c and e are on leg one and then um, has its own meter and leg two is on b uh, B, D, and F, and that has its own meter. So you want to make sure that you balance your loads between the leg one uh, breakers and the leg two breakers. In other words, if you have things that draw a lot of power, such as air conditioners or ovens or something, you want to balance those and put some of them on leg one and some of them on leg two. Also notice the first two breakers are 20 amps and the rest are 15 amps. And that's because the first two come with the uh, the rocker switches actually for a and b are tied together so that you could run a 240 volt uh, circuit off of a and b and the tie is easily removable if you don't need it and that's what i did in this case so i'm running six separate circuits also my solar inverter is only at this point 120 volts up single phase so what i just did is tied leg one and leg two in the protran to the wire nut, uh, tied it together to the single hot wire that came in from my uh, solar inverter. And that means all six of these are now on 120 volts off of single phase. And I realize it's, it's very hard to see the wires uh, with everything in the way right here. But let's look at the drawing again. Okay, so instead of having um, four lines coming in from my inverter, which would be ground, neutral, line one black and line two red I just have three cables a ground a neutral and line one black so I take my line one black in and connect it to both the black line one and the red line two that feed the breakers in the ProTran transfer switch and you connect all three of those cables together just using a single wire nut so the hot wire from the solar comes in goes through these breakers and from the breakers it connects internally to these rocker switches and each rocker switch connects to its own circuit uh, which would be the load that you want to control a refrigerator um, some outlets in a room etc 
and each rocker switch controls the source of power for the load. Um, when it's up on generator, it's getting power from solar, and when you flip it down, it's getting power from the grid. So back over to the breaker panel, also known as the load center. So from the grid, the hot comes in and feeds the individual breakers. And from the breaker, we're going to connect a new wire from the ProTran that connects back up to the rocker switch. But to help clarify, let's eliminate this new wire in the rocker switch just for a second. Okay, so this cable is a little large, but it represents a cable that you would have uh, typically coming back from a load to your load center. You'd have a green ground that hooks to the uh, ground bu bus bar, a white neutral which hooks to the neutral bus bar, and this is the hot that actually connects to the breaker. So to connect this load to the ProTran transfer switch, you disconnect this hot line from your breaker and you connect it with a wire nut to a new wire that goes back to the ProTran and connects to the rocker switch. Then another new wire connects the rocker switch back to the breaker that the load was originally attached to. So for each of the six circuits in the transfer switch, A, B, C, D, E, and F, you have two new wires. In this case, they are for F. And the black wire connects to the hot wire from the load. The red wire connects to the breaker. And there you go, wrapping up this video. Um, these units seem to be really well built. I've had no issues and I've been using mine now for maybe two years or something on a daily basis. Um, anyway, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I hope so. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you want to pick one of these up, sometimes you can find them locally in the big box stores. I've also got links down below that you can get them on Amazon. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video.